Hello guys, in this video we will learn about the if config from the layout XML files. So you can set the if config and then whether to show or not a particular block. Now if we look in the back end and then we have this if, if config set to enable and then if we refresh here then we get it as if config displayed here. But if we go and say no and then save then if we refresh we get it disappeared if we go back again and then set it enabled save now coming back to the front page and then refresh we get it displayed here now this is what we're going to build for this video and so let's start on so basically what we have is this page and then we have this content this block but we don't have any control whether to hide or display this page or this this block now if we go to the code base and then we only have the controller and the controller just return a page we don't have anything specific but we just have this layout and we also have this if config uh, template and then this template is assigned to the block we have we have seen here the if config example now we need to have the ability to say whether we can display or hide this block by configuration so we have control over displaying this block we can do this by just do if statement around here and then whether to display or not but this is just a content it's not this is it's not hiding the block what we want to do is to hide the block as a whole when we set the configuration to no but if we set it to yes which is enabled then we display the block now let's go ahead and start this we go to etc and then inside etc we will need the acl file acl file stands for the resource so you give a resources so acl.xml tcl so what we're going to do here is training so if config example so we are having here we don't have anything here to be honest so we just need to remove this so we don't need this node but we need this node and then the title is if config configuration now we have this ACL now we need to do is we create the system XML file in order to be able to set yes and no for the configuration so we go to the etc and then we create a directory we call it admin HTML and then inside the admin HTML we will create system dot xml file then we will have system here and then the first thing i need to create is tab so this is the tab i will make it as a training and then the label will be training now also training now also i need to set the order here so sort order will be say for example nine hundred i'm not sure where this is going to place this but let's see then i will create a section inside the section we will need it as training and then the sort order will be one inside the training then we will show one default one show on store one show on website one and that's on the type will be text and that's all to it. inside the section we will need the tab where the tab what is the tab will be so it will be training and then after the tab will be after the tab we will need the label so the label will be training as well and then we will need the resource and the resource is whatever we created here so we will just copy this and paste it here then we will need a group so i will have a group and then we call it if config and then the type will be text and then we show on website show on store default then sort order is one and that's all we will need a label as well so it will be if config last thing we need is a field then the field will be enabled then sort order will be say one show on default show on store show on website and the type is select then we will need a label the label will be enabled yes and no and then the source model will be yes no yes no so it will be this magento config magento config model config source yes no that's all to it we have created this configuration now we need to flush cache, cache flash config now we need to log in here magento 
we are in the admin now so we will go stores configuration then from the config we will need to see training and then from the training we have training and then this is the if config and then we can set yes and no but now this is not integrated into the layout so the last thing we need to do here we need to look at the module and then we go to view layout the if config index layout and then we have a if config attribute here and then we will say training and then if config and then enable so whatever comes from here has if config here whatever comes from here as yes or no then it will affect the display of this of this block so let's go ahead here and then we will flush layout as well put layout then we flush the config and layout cache now we set it to no we should see this disappear if it is no now if we refresh it's gone now if we go and set it to yes then save config it's not coming back because we need to flush cache so we will flush config and then block html now we go back here it's not showing this is because we need to inspect here the element and then copy this and probably there is some typo and then we make it like this it should refresh so it could be typo before and since we copied and paste there is no chance for errors now if we go again and then disable it we set it to no, to no. It's gone. If we go back and then set it to yes, and then it's coming back. And this is mainly using the if config in the layout XML file and then by setting the configuration. I think this is it. Please like and subscribe if you like the video and I see you next time.